volume of a rectangular prism. Volume is the amount of space a 3D object occupies, or a three-dimensional shape. Just like areas measured in unit squares, volume is measured in unit cubes. A figure is packed with unit cubes even if not all the cubes are visible. They are all still part of the volume. Label the length and width and height of each figure and describe how the dimensions and the total number of cubes are related. So if you look at this one, one, two, three, four, it's one high, so it's four wide times one high times four. This one is one, two by one, two, three, four by one, two. So the volume of this would be four times one times four, which is 16 units cubed. This one is two times four is eight, times two is 16 units cubed. And if you look at the shapes, you can only see, well, this one, the first one here, you can actually see all of the, all of the cubes, none are hidden. And this one, you just know that there are more cubes underneath and behind because you know what shape that is. Label the length, the width, and the height of each figure. Describe how the dimensions and the total number of cubes are related. So our dimensions, this one is one, two wide, one, two, three, four high, and the length, one, two, three, four, five. So the total cubes would be four times two, which is eight, times five, which is 40. And this says total number of cubes, so you don't have to write unit cubes, you're just talking about the, the cubes that are there. So I'm gonna do height, one, two, three, width, one, two, three, and length, one, two, three. Total cubes would be three times three is nine, times three is 27. Try and pause the video and try number three on your own. So the height is one, two, the width, one, two, three. Sorry, that would be the length. If we're doing it the way we did the others, the width is only one, and the length would be one, two, three, how long it is. So two times one is two, times three is six. Okay, volume of a rectangular prism. is base times height. So the base would be the length and the width multiplied together times the height. So that would be the width and the length together. So that would be nine times three. Or I generally remember volume as length times width times height. So you remember that you have three numbers that you're multiplying together. So volume can be determined by finding the area of the base and multiplying it by the height of the object. Or it can be found by length times width times height. So let's look at this one. I'm gonna use the formula volume equals length times width times height. So length, nine, width, six, height, four. Nine times six times four. Nine times six is 54. 54 times four, six, one. So 216 centimeters cubed. That's how you would write that. There is room at the bottom to show your work down here and it's asking for the formulas at the top so the area of the base would be length 
length times width, the volume of the rectangular prism would be that base times height. I'm just gonna do length times width times height because that's how you're gonna need to remember it. Okay, so if we look at number one, says, practice finding the volume of rectangular prisms below. All measurements are centimeters. Start with question one, then roll a pair of dice and find the sum of the two numbers showing. Solve that problem. We're just going to solve them all. You don't need to use dice. We're just going to work through these. So if I have six times eight times four, I would get 192 centimeters Cubed. You may use a calculator for these. I'm going to solve five and then I'm going to let you figure out the rest. So if I look at five, I want length times width times height. Remember those formulas are important. I would write it down every time. So the length is one, two, three, four, five. The width, one, two, and the height, one, two, three, four. So this would be 40 centimeters cubed. All right, pause the video and go ahead and work through these problems. There's space at the bottom to show your work, but you can use a calculator, so you don't even need to do that. Then you're actually ready to move on to the homework page. Good luck.